today we will learn to deconvolute the deconvolute the XPS data. Here we will plot this XPS data. Here we have our XPS data, and here we can see there are two peaks, and we need to deconvolute them. So we need to separate them. And for this, first we will separate the baseline. For this, go to analysis, peaks and baseline, peak analyzer, open dialog. Here, select subtract baseline. Next, here we have as this is the XPS data, we will choose the baseline mode to be XPS. Then click next. Here, as we can see, we have selected the surely and it is well fitted. The baseline is uh, as expected. So we'll just click next. Subtract this baseline. So here, this is our subtracted data. Now finish. Okay. So now we will replace this data with the subtracted data. So here I have our subtracted data, and now we will deconvolute this particular data. For this, go to analysis, peaks and baseline, multi peak fit. Click open dialog. Here there are multiple peak functions that we can choose to peak the uh, to fit this particular data and here i will choose the lorentz peak function now click ok here as we have two peaks we will click on each peak select it, each peak and now we will fit it click ok okay here we have all the peak data or uh, the data after we have fitted the peaks, peak 1 and peak 2. The properties of peaks can be seen here and here we can see the well fitted data. We can make it a bit thicker. So here we can see the data is well fitted using the multi peak function and thank you. Thank you for watching this video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more such videos.